everyone. How are you? Good evening. Juan, thank you so much for the opportunity to be here with you tonight, celebrating uh, along with your uh, beautiful wife, Christina, and beautiful and active children, uh, Gabriel and Romina, uh, your fourth anniversary. And honestly, the first time I sat down with you, the kids were so much smaller. I can't believe how big they are getting. They're such happy, healthy, beautiful children. So. Um, I thought that in honor of your fourth anniversary, I would talk about the four qualities that I really um, give you the most credit for when I think about you and what you're doing in our community. Um, and the first is your local commitment. Um, well, we've seen an explosion in social media and untraditional news sources these days. Generally speaking, we haven't actually gotten more local news. We just get a lot of conjecture and, and um, philo philosophical statements and quite frankly, a lot of partisanship but not real news about what's going on in our own neighborhoods and what people are up to. And so your commitment and your prioritizing what is going on in Shrewsbury and the things that really impact our community uh, is something um, that I think is really um, special. And certainly it helps us to be more engaging and, and, and inclusive as a neighborhood um, with the reporting that you're doing and make us feel closer to our neighbors. Um, second, what I always think of when I think of you is someone who's passionate. Um, you're passionate not only about the work that you do um, through uh, Communicast and through the Shoesbury Post, um, but you're passionate about the opportunity that we all have in our um, community, in the Commonwealth, and in our country. Um, I know that you've seen firsthand the struggle of living and thriving in a country that does not share or practice our democratic values that we have here and our ideals, and you encourage all of us um, in our diverse and welcoming community to see the opportunity that we have to participate without fear of reprisal. Um, I know you've written online several times about being more engaged in our own community and really pushing people to understand the value of what we have here in terms of the opportunity to participate and shape our own future, and especially coming from one where that is a very difficult thing to do from your home country. Um, and my, my third quality that I see in you is interest, a genuine interest. When you sit down and you interview somebody, you really want to understand them. You're really seeking to understand what makes them who they are. What are the things that make them tick? You're not looking to do a sort of superficial story. You're really looking to do a genuine and heartfelt story and uncover things that other people don't find simply because they don't ask the right questions and they don't spend the time trying to find out those answers. So um, I know that it is very uh, genuine, your interest that you have in people, but it makes your stories all the better because people are learning things that they just did not realize were going on in their own community. And finally, um, I think the quality of being a go-getter is probably the most important thing that you have going in terms of the success of what you have started here. Um, you're not waiting in line for an opportunity to come, you're finding the opportunities. And I think that that is something that so many of us um, can see as a role model. Um, and again, I think in, in part that is just who you are as a person, and I think in part of it is because, again, you come from a place where that isn't always the case and you recognize that here in this community, in this commonwealth, and in this country, that each of us can really blaze our own trail and that it is up to us to make sure we're taking advantage of every opportunity there is out there. Um, so I, I recognize you not only for your four years here, but really what you've accomplished in order to get here, to begin your four years. Um, and I'm very happy to be able to meet with you and discuss some of the challenges that are going back on in Venezuela and think about how we can help the people there and always to be thinking about what we can do in our community to make it a stronger, more inclusive, welcoming spot. So um, I do come here tonight with uh, a citation that I wanted to present to you, and it is from the House of Representatives. And um, come on up here, let me read it to you. It says, uh, be it hereby known to all that the Massachusetts House of Representatives offers its sincerest congratulations to the Shrewsbury Post in recognition of your four-year anniversary Thank you for becoming part of the Shrewsbury community and providing residents with an engaging and respectful local news source. Congratulations, and we look forward to years of coverage continuing to highlight this great town. The entire membership extends its very best wishes and expresses the hope for future good fortune in all of your endeavors, and it's signed this day by myself and the Speaker of the House, Robert Julio. Thank you so much. Y'all, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.